Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm trying to start a lawnmower that was running last fall before it was put away, but now it's been taken out and it will not run. So if I take the air cover off here and spray quick start, it will run, it will just burn what I spray in there and then die right away. So today I'm going to take you through this repair unedited and you're going to see how it goes in real life here in the shop. Okay, so the first thing I do here is remove the carburetor. Now this one here has a primer, so you have the line to remove here as well. And this here is the vent tube, I will remove it so you guys can see better here. I'm going to pop off the linkage and the spring. And now I'm going to take the fuel line off and basically drain all the fuel in a container. I like to start fresh with my own fuel. And now this carb should come right off. Oops. So I'll let this drain here for a few minutes. Okay, let's crack this carb open. This will tell us the whole story here. So this carb's not too bad here, guys, but usually what happens is the the small jet inside here and the emulsion tube get dirty. It doesn't take much to clog it up either. So what I'll do here is remove the small jet. By the way, these are gunsmithing screwdrivers. Uh, actually, I've got the whole set. This is just one of them. Great screwdrivers, guys, if you work on small engines. So if you look in this little jet here, you cannot see daylight and that's the problem usually the emulsion tube will be fine you can see right through it all these little holes what I like to use is some torch tip cleaners and I run them through all the small holes here on the emulsion tube and sometimes I even enlarge the holes just a bit because all these gas engines run pretty lean. Now there's even smaller holes here that you can clean as well. So just run the torch tip cleaners and all these little holes here. And sometimes I run it on a wire wheel just to clean the emulsion tube. So I just got the part that was really dirty on the tube here. Not too much. And I do the same thing with the small jet here. I find a torch tip cleaner that goes in there quite snug. And again, this little jet here, sometimes I enlarge it as well. See, now you can see daylight through it. See that? So I'm just going to spray card cleaner on them here. And the little pin here came out. So again, as I mentioned, this carb is not that dirty. So I know for sure that the only issue was that the little jet above the emulsion tube was plugged. Now this little jet here only goes in one way, guys. Now one thing that happens with the bowl covers is sometimes it kind of goes on the inside here. There's kind of an indent. So what I do is I put it on an anvil or something hard. And then what I do is I go in with a punch and I just make it flush again. It's just so that when you put the bolt, it makes a good seal. 
See, now it's flush instead of being concave. I'll give this another quick turn here. And I'll put the O-ring back. Now this O-ring's a bit stretched here. And when I go to uh, put the ball back on, there could be a leak, so I'm just going to replace this. I've got a new one here. And this is in my lawnmower, so I want to make sure it doesn't leak when it leaves. Now this piece here finally came off. Okay, so let's get this back on. Carburetor. There's still a bit of gas coming out of the fuel tank. And don't forget this part over here. Okay, before I put the air filter cover back on, I will put the fuel clamp on here. Now the breather tube goes on the cover right here. And the primer line goes back in. gas it up guys and I'm pretty sure that this machine will be running like new again. Okay, that's what I was guys. Now it is revving a bit low, so I'm going to show you how to set that. So on this mower here, uh, like I said, it is revving a bit low. So you grab the tab here that has the governor spring and you lift it up. It'll make the spring tighter and your engine should rev, rev faster. Now typically I can set these just by hearing them or listening to them because I've been working on machines for so long. But if you can't do that, get yourself a tack put it on the spark plug wire or just beside the spark plug wire and you don't want these engines to be revving much more than 3200 rpms. So I'll start it again here and it should be revving higher since I bent the tab up. That's perfect. It's just a cheapy mower, but it's actually in good shape. Hasn't been used that much. So the owner should get a few more years out of this one for sure. Also guys, if you run into this issue, you, you put your mower away, it will not start in the spring. First thing you should do is spray some gas or carb cleaner through the carb. And if it starts and dies and just burns what you've put in, that means it's a fuel issue. If you spray gas or carb cleaner or whatever in the carb and it still doesn't want to start, it's more likely a spark issue. Start by replacing the spark plug and then check your bail cable the cable that goes to the handlebars because sometimes it might be stuck. And what's going to happen is if your cable's bad, sometimes it will not be pulling the lever back far enough to allow the engine to have spark at the plug. So oftentimes it's dirty carburetor, bad spark plug, or a bad cable. So thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and have a great day.